That's what the issue is here. And um, it's a saying that came out of what happened in the Second World War. Evil reigns when good people do nothing. And uh, I think Australia, that fits Australia's bill here. You know, the history of this country here is built on premeditated criminal acts of genocide, sustained acts of terror, repression, suppression and oppression. This entire continent lived very similar to what West Papua was now having their land destroyed. You know, it's very painful for our people to see what's going on. Australia's got to take a lot of responsibility in regards to what's going on there. You know, our closest neighbour. There's crimes against humanity going on a couple of hundred miles away from Darwin. And we, and we do nothing. But that doesn't surprise me. Because that's what Australia's history is. It's despicable. It's appalling. It's disgraceful. It's disgusting. In every sense of the word. You know? What the hell is Australia anyway? You know, the British weren't the first discoverers. It was already called New Holland, right? I think the Dutch had something to do with West Papua as well. You know, these colonised these rapists, the whole episode of colonisation is about raping the land. It's all greed motivated, resource theft. Now, this is where all the wealth of this country comes from. These pillars of society here. Now these institutions, all built on murder, rape and theft. Now we had a socially organised society on this island continent. 600 nations, ancient languages, organised people. We had a pristine environment. That's, that's what we represented. You don't get a pristine environment because you're murdering and raping people all over the place and stealing. Now don't believe none of this bullshit they say about our people. We're a sophisticated people. We've got a superior law than these backward dark age invaders who lied the entire time they've been in Australia. What's Terra Nullis? Have a think about it. It's a premeditated criminal act of genocide. So is your white only policy constitution. Your apartheid law. Our people spent generations in concentration in this camp, uh, concentration camps in this country. We're meant to die out. Now, our people are pretty resilient. Now, the white man made a mistake here. He should have killed us all. Because we're not going to assimilate into this garbage, this garbage society, this sewer age society. It's rubbish. It's got nothing for our people. All this is about is stealing the resources and destroying the environment in the process. In 1949, the Menzies government was asked, well, they had to legislate against the crime of genocide. In 1949, have a look at the hand side and what uh, the reasons why Australia didn't actually uh, um, incorporate that law into their into their um, legislation here. So they went on to get away with stealing our kids, killing us in custody, creating the conditions of life with the intent to destroy, preventing our births. You know, Australia is a classic example of genocide. It's a Nazi wet dream. It's like if the Nazis hadn't have been stopped what sort of society would they have had here? The premier institution in this country is the church. 
Have a look at it. Full of pedophiles, right? So if your premier institution is corrupt like that, don't you think the rest of it's going to be? Yeah? Where's the church been? Why well, Aboriginal people die in misery in their, in their own land? Now, Australia's a joke. I'm really proud of this, my uncle over here. He's one of the greatest activists in this country. He's been talking about West Papua Mob as long as I've known him. And he's concerned about what was going on there. You know? All Indigenous people are connected. That is the law. Those people hold the law of the land. They're the customary law holders. When you disrespect that, you can expect to have ecocide occurring. Now I can see Australia turning into one big quarry. You know, this is sacred land here. Our mother. We don't rape it. We don't rape our own mother. That's what's going on all over the world. You know, we need this white follow law like we need a hole in the head. You know, Recognise our law here in this country, in your own backyard. Now, Victoria's the most disgusting of them all, this colony here. The first one's to constitute on the basis of terra nullis. This is where they created the white Australia policy. Now, they've had the intent to destroy our people since the day they got here. Have a look at the statistical information on our people. Our morbidity, our jail rates, the suffering that we have from preventable diseases, the diseases that white people brought here. Shouldn't say white people. The British, the colonisers. You know, it's appalling. Now, we fair dinkum about West Papua. This is our sovereignty. We have never ceded our sovereignty. People understand what that means? This is our land, and if it's our land, it's got to be our law too. So we decide who comes into this country and the conditions that they do come into. I've heard this before. You know, that little creep. The primate of Australia, John Howard, he's looking like being your next Governor General. Now what the hell is going on? And how in the hell does Australia get on the United Nations Security Council with a record that what it's got? You no. Know, my heart goes out to my mob. I've noticed what's going on all around the Pacific. You know. They've destroyed this place in record time because they're greedy, they're selfish and they're ignorant. And, all, and this ignorance is proven. Have a look at this Eddie Quagmire. Yeah. Who barracks for Collingwood here still? <laughs> Anyone barracks for Collingwood? <laughs> Pull your membership. You can't be supporting racist institutions. And this AFL is that. Now, Eddie Maguire is the face of AFL. He's a TV personality. He should step down. You know, this is what's underneath all of this corporate white Australia. It's racist to the core people. You know, Australia hasn't got a treaty. They haven't got a proper legal foundation like the rest of the civilised world has. It's still a colony of Britain. And until you've got a treaty of peace with the original people, It'll remain an unde undeclared war, a war crime zone. That's what it is. It's a war crime scene. Until you deal with it with, via a treaty. And a treaty is a peacemaking instrument. But good on you, eh? This is what it's about. We're exposing the issues here. And I'm really proud of the non average people who, who continue to stand up alongside our people. You know, without that, where would we be? We rely on that support. 
And we've got to also remember that a lot of the people in this the state of Victoria, in the leafy suburbs out there, have got shares in the, in the mines and the things that motivate and this destruction of these beautiful people. You know, still close to their country, still holds of amazing knowledge. What well, are we going to destroy that too? You know, looking at Australia's record, I want to wish his luck. And uh, whatever we can do as uh, Indigenous people in this country, I want to just stand in solidarity with you. And, uh, you know, one day you just, got to, you just got to keep at it. The truth's going to. The truth is like a weapon of mass destruction, particularly in Australia, which is built on lies and deceit, fraud, propaganda. That's what we've got. That's the weapon of mass destruction is the truth. And so is education people. So keep making yourself aware. And you know, this, this place is built on a house of cards. It's not properly legally founded. That happens when you treat eyes with the original people of the land. You know, we're human beings too. We want our human rights recognised. And every struggle is about human rights. It's about time we united. United struggle. A is. Thanks for everyone for coming, eh?